is for transition metal nomenclature. It's on page 87 in your binder. So what you should do is play this video and do the ones with me that I do, and then you finish the worksheet, and then check your answers. They'll be posted on Google Classroom. Okay, to do, do this type of worksheet, you're going to need the tan chart. That's what I have over here on the side, and you're in page 87, okay? So the first thing is just to write a formula. It, this says copper one oxide. What's different about this worksheet compared to the ones that we've been doing is that these involve ions, positive ions with more than one charge. Like copper, if you notice, it can be plus one or plus two. So you gotta use the Roman numeral to figure out which charge to use when you write the formula. So copper one is going to be Cu, and then you're gonna look at the ion chart over here and it's one positive because it's copper one. The Roman numeral is the charge. Then oxide is two negative. And just like before, if the charges aren't the same, you can crisscross and you get Cu2O1. Uh, but remember, chemists normally don't write the one, so it's just going to be Cu2O would be the, be the final answer. Okay, now you could get one like copper 2 oxide. So you would write copper, the Roman numeral 2. You could look over here at the chart if you need to, but the 2 means that it's 2 positive. And then the oxide is 2 negative. All right, so because these charges already ba balance each other out or cancel each other out, you just need one of each. So it's going to be CuO. All right, just don't automatically crisscross if they cancel each other out. Okay, uh, I'll show you uh, one, one more here. I'm going to skip uh, three. I'm going to go down to four. And so then I'm going to go nickel, and it's Ni, and it's the th Roman numeral three. You could look on the chart if you want to and find it, and it's three positive. Now, sometimes these might not be on the chart, not all of them, but the Roman numeral tells you the charge. And then sulfate is SO4. Now, that's a polyatomic ion, so I'm going to put it in parentheses. And I'm going to write the charge on the outside. And you look and you find SO4. Here it is, 2 negative. You write that charge there. Now, if these charges are not the same, you're going to need to crisscross 2, 3. Make sure that they're in the simplest ratio. And you write Ni2, SO4, 3. OK, that's the formula writing. Uh, I guess that, I hate to say it, but that's kind of the easy part. All right, now you finish the rest up to 10 here, but then uh, I'm going to show you how to write the names. This is a little bit harder. So I have a method for doing this, and it sometimes helps students doing it the way that I do it. So write the name for CRO3. So if you find CR, you will see that it needs a Roman numeral, okay? And you have to figure out the correct Roman numeral for it. So the way that I do it is I make a rectangle and then I divide it in half. And then I look, how many positive ions? Well, I only got one CR, but I've got three O. So I divide this into three here. And this is O here, O here, and O here. Now the question is, when we want to write the name, we want to write chromium, but the catch is, the hard part is figuring out what Roman numeral should chromium get, all right? That's the hard part. So if you do it this way, you can figure it out. Now, each oxygen is minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. And if you add that up, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, is a total of minus 6, or 6 minus. But there's only one chromium, and it has to cancel out all six charges. So what is the charge? Well, it has to be six positive to cancel out all those oxygens. And I don't think on this chart here, I don't think there, it, we don't, it doesn't go all the way to uh, 
we don't have the plus six on there, but there, there is such a thing, okay? So anyway, the chromium, the Roman numeral is VI, that's six. Okay, so chromium six, and then the, the negative ion is just like the one on the periodic table. So you find it, it's just oxide. All right, next is silver nitrate. So I put this one on there because if you find silver, it's right up here. Notice that there's no Roman numeral by it. Don't go Roman numeral crazy here. If there's no Roman numeral by the name, don't write it. That's just silver, the positive ion name, followed by the negative ion name, NO3, oh, it's right here, nitrate, silver nitrate. You don't need a Roman numeral if there's not one given here on the chart. Okay, lead to chloride. So, anyway, we know the name is lead. Hey, does lead need a Roman numeral? Let's find a lead. Oh, yes, it does. So we're going to put the parentheses here, and then we got to figure out what this is. All right? Now, anyway, you can do it with the... Uh, rectangle if you want or if you can do it a faster way there's a faster way to do it but I just show this way so I divide it in half and I know that the one side the one side is lead there's only one lead but there's two chlorides so I got to divide my rectangle to show one lead and two chlorides now we can look up chloride and it's negative one so negative one and negative one Okay, negative one and negative one adds up to negative two. There's only one of these that has to cancel out a negative two, so it has to be plus two or two plus. So it's lead, Roman numeral two, okay, because it's, uh, it's a plus two charge, and then that's chloride. All right, here I'll, I'll do, uh, let's do one more here. So let's try one like right here. Let's do Cu2S. Okay, so we write the name copper. And if we look, copper definitely needs a Roman numeral. It has one. So we put parentheses. And then we write what S is. Sulfide. That's sulfide. So it's going to be copper, Roman numeral something, sulfide. So we draw the rectangle, and when we draw it, we put copper here, but if you notice there's two coppers, that's supposed to be a subscript. We copied this off of a computer program and it doesn't make the subscripts, but there's two coppers and one sulfide. Now the sulfide, if you look it up on the chart, it's two minus but so there's one sulfide that's a net of two minus but there's two coppers what must each copper be to cancel out two minus well it has to be a total of two plus that means each copper is just plus one plus one because two pluses cancel out one two minus so the roman numeral is the charge on the individual copper so it's Roman numeral one. Okay, you should try to finish this worksheet and then check your own using the key that it's, that's attached to Google Classroom and see if you did it, did it right. If not, get some help from the teacher.